Hi friends, so today in this video we will know how to optimize inter-system handover preparation failure. Okay, what are the parameters or settings we have to tune in the network or configure in the network to optimize our inter-system handover means our there are two types of network one is Samsung and other one is Riction if between them handover is going failure in preparation phase so what we need to check and what are those parameters we have to tune and those values so we will discuss about those in this video so before starting this video if you are first time watching this video or you are new member on this channel so don't forget to subscribe this channel, press bell icon for more related videos and press like button. Okay, so today we start our topic. Here we can see what are the problems we face in the network. Our topic is inter-system handover failure in preparation phase. And point you can see if high inter-system handover preparation failure from Ericsson to Samsung means no handover from Ericsson to Samsung ok so uh, no Samsung PCI is measured by UE we have a UE which is trying to access Samsung network but it is unable to access or measure PCI of the Samsung so in this picture you can see there is a UE, Ericsson network and Samsung network. So let's see what are the measurement or actions team has taken to optimize or solve this issue. Here you can see the observation team decided and take some traces captured some traces of UE, U traces analyzed and found that tag configuration was wrong in inter-system relationships. Okay, the configurations was wrong, tracking area code was wrong. So, track value were wrong for Samsung relations. After it, corrected by MOSL, but again, back to incorrect values after 2-3 rounds. So, what next step? team has taken to improve this KPI ok so next step taken by the team that he found there is some issue with the frame start offset setting frame start offset setting due to this there is no sync between inter-system network means there is no sync between Ericsson and Samsung so what are those parameters we will see and the frame offset setting were mismatched between both the systems ok now here you can see the parameters okay. these are the parameters which team decided to tune to sync both the networks so team changes these parameters value in ericsson system as per samsung system ok these are the three parameters sub frame offset which was currently 3 but in Samsung it was 0 so it is 0 now in action symbol offset it is 0 now in both time offset 511020 0 after implementing these parameters the KPIs were improved ok means UE or both the network Ericsson and Samsung were in sync and UE started measurement report to send measurements so you can also implement if you are facing this kind of issues in your network means your KPIs of handover KPIs are failing in preparation phase 100% failure so you can check those sides and their configurations check tag and these kind of parameters after implementing these parameters you also can check post kpis in your network ok so that's all this video we will catch you up in next video thank you